there are many patients who are treated with medicines and those medicines can be a uh, nice way of treating atrial fibrillation. I uh, just want to mention that because sometimes people will be uh, treated with what's called a pill and a procket approach for atrial fibrillation. And the medications that they would be taking, let's say on a chronic basis, they would have to be taking uh, on a very regular basis. So that's uh, a therapy that many people feel that they want to try first. It turns out that that's not as effective as what ablation technique is. We uh, know quite well that even the most powerful medications out there the effectiveness at suppressing atrial fibrillation in a year is only enjoyed by about 40 to 45 percent of patients. So that's not very good. Almost a flip of the coin. Plus it takes a lot of effort though for those patients to be on medications and also we have to protect their brain so we have to give them anticoagulants for the most part. So we're talking about at least two medications for a condition that really increases in frequency as somebody ages.